this channel. I'm Cindy and today I wanted to give you a tour of my toys and resources that I use for occupational therapy. So if you like this type of video, please like this video and subscribe. Um, I for myself like love getting toys and resources, especially when I get time to go to Kmart. Um, so it's kind of like um, something that I find therapeutic to do. So I love showing um, people what I have and kind of sharing like what um, what might be useful for therapy sessions. And yeah, hope you guys like this video and let's get started. So first I um, have a craft box. So in this craft box, I have a few markers. Um, as you can see, I have some origami paper and a stamp marker, which I find really useful to have even as a reward system. Washable markers are great and triangular pencils are really good for uh, pencil grip. I have a bit of more um, craft stuff. So I have popsicle sticks and some craft um, supplies. Um, I really like pipe cleaners and pom poms. Then there's this um, painting mat. Um, I found this crystal making thing. Um, and some paper. Um, this is gridded paper. And which is good for writing, handwriting, and um, I also have stickers ready at the end of sessions. Um, and I use my whiteboard quite a lot to plan out sessions with my clients. Then I'm going to show you some of the books that I collected from a op shop. So I have this book which helps with number formation. I really love this um, and I also have an animal book so these are all farm animals which is a great book um, if you want to keep kids interested in learning about different animals so they can play around with different body parts and this book here is um, for teens um, then I have Dr. Seuss books and I find them really great for teaching different concepts um, to children and encouraging them to read but I haven't used it, um, them yet. I also have some smart thinking supplies. Um, Legos is my also favourite um, and kids favourite. Yoga, spin and handwriting. Here is my sensory box. I have a few puppet toys and squishy banana and also this rainbow stick. So in my big box I have some rainbow rice uh, which is used for sensory bin and some magnets with alphabets and numbers, a play set like a teapot um, cooking set for pretend play and then I have um, egg cartons um, for color matching and other fun motor tasks. I also have play-doh which is my favorite to use, um, shape sorters, bubbles which is also great for joint attention, kinetic sands also another favorite one, and Orbeez, which I haven't used yet, but I've used it in the past and kids love it. Some Velcro fruits, um, which is great as well. And I have um, alphabets and putty in there and pens. So you can see here I have um, some movement dices, some farm animals, cars, which is popular. Um, and I also have these um, weighted bean bags, um, which is great for proprioceptive input and chalk. 
and these are great these are like sticky um dinosaurs or lizards and i have uh, number magnets and yeah so that's all i have and hope you enjoyed that so i wanted to talk about toys and resources and um whether you know if you're a parent or you're a therapist like do you need like specific toys and um, if you're wondering like do i need to have a specific toy for my child or things like that well i would say like my advice is to really get to know your child like every child's different so um get to know your child and what they need and i really think that there are some like toys that are like kind of staples that you can use like over and over again and i really think that there is no Point of buying heaps of toys for a child because they get bored of it really easily so as long as you have like a toy that can be used in different um you know situations um that's what i would recommend i yeah i've been working in pediatric ot for around like three years so i kind of know like what like resources i need um in my sessions and i'm always open to like you know use different resources as well because um you know the world is growing so quick and kids these days they are like learning to use technology now so i kind of incorporate that as well but um if you're interested in learning about what i use yep yeah, stay tuned hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you are interested in any of the products that i have today please let me know um and yeah i just wondering what your favorite ot resource or toy is that you like to use in sessions and tell me how you use it to reach your clients goals so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye